everyone is born, but not everyone is born the same. Some will grow to be butchers or bakers or candlestick makers. Some will only be really good at making jello salad. One way or another though, every human being is unique for better or for worse. <sighs> most parents believe their children are the most beautiful creatures ever to grace the planet. Others take a less emotional approach. What a waste of time. And painful. And expensive. Nine twenty-five for a bar of soap. Well, I had to take a shower, Harry. Five thousand dollars? I'm not paying it. What are they going to do? Repossess the kids? and Zinnia Wormwood lived in a very nice neighborhood, in a very nice house, but they were not really very nice people. The Wormwoods were so wrapped up in their own silly lives that they barely noticed they had a daughter. Had they paid any attention to her at all, they'd have realized she was a rather extraordinary child. Oh my gosh, Matilda, now look what you did. They named her Matilda. You're supposed to eat the spinach. I slave all day, I come home, you're entertaining a couple of surfer dude bodybuilders. The cops, Dad. You interested in timeshare? <gasps> you don't let me talk to people! I am in a cage, Abby. I need to talk to somebody besides our stupid kids. Oh, yeah? Well, a man is entitled to come home and find dinner on the table without having to wade through a convention of male strippers. Dad? What do you want? Yell at me, okay? Shut up and leave us alone! Yell at me again! Yell at you? I'll come in there and pound your miserable hide! What do I have to do to gain respect around here? I'm gonna give you a tanning like you never heard in your life! My word is my law! You <laughs> No kid likes being yelled at, but it was precisely Harry's ranting and raving that gave Matilda the key to her power. To unlock that power, all she had to do was practice. You're a little You're a cheap. wormwood. It's time you started you acting stupid? like one. I'm smart. You're dumb. Yeah, I'm big. You're little. Lost. Far from the tree. There's something wrong. I'm with right. That you're wrong. Hey, and there's nothing you can book. do about it. You're a wormwood. It's time you started it's acting time like one. It's time you started one. acting like one. a nice place. You can't wear a hat inside. I can't take it off. Harry, nobody cares what your hair looks like. I can't get it hat. off. I can't get it off. I can't get it off. Oh. Oh, just a minute. I'm gonna get this oh, hat oh, off. Oh. I'm pulling it. <laughs> I think your head oh. swelled up really bad. Ah. Ah. Ah, you put on the skin. You're such a baby. Stop it. Five is a fuse to the head. Five is a fuse? What is that? Sorry. 
honey. This could be the most interesting thing you've ever done. Sit down, you squirming worm of vomit. Can you spell? Miss Honey taught us how to spell a long word yesterday. We can spell difficulty. You couldn't spell difficulty if your life depended on it. She taught us with a poem. A poem? How sweet. What poem would that be? Mrs. D, Mrs. I. Mrs. F, F, I. Mrs. C, Mrs. U, Mrs. L, T, Y. Why are all these women married? Mrs. D, Mrs. I, you're supposed to be teaching spelling, not poetry. <sighs> I cannot for the life of me understand why small children take so long to grow up. I think they do it deliberately just to annoy me. Joke as well as the next fat person. <laughs> it's a snake. It's a snake. Ah, oh, it's a snake. Oh. One of you tried to poison me. Who? Oh. Oh, Matilda. I knew it. I just thought you'd like to know it's not a snake. It's a newt. What did you say? It's a newt, Miss Trunchbull. Stand up, you villainous sack of goat slime. You did this. No, Miss Trunchbull. Did you act alone? Or did you have accomplices? I didn't do it. You didn't like the chokey, eh, did you? Thought you'd pay me back, didn't you? Well, I'll pay you back, young lady. For what, Miss Trunchbull? For this newt, you pissworm! I'm telling you, I didn't do it. <sighs> Besides, even if you didn't do it, I'm going to punish you because I'm big and you're small and I'm right and you're wrong and there's nothing you can do about it. You're a liar and a scoundrel and your father's a liar and a cheat. You're the most corrupt lowlifes in the history of civilization. Am I wrong? I'm never wrong. In this classroom, in this school, I am God! When you go to your little cubbies to get your smelly little coats, when you skip merrily to lunch, I'll be watching you, all of you, and especially you. I'll come and help you fill the bird feeder, okay? I'll be out there in a minute. 